Hi, this is Larry Pollock from Aero Instrument in beautiful Hilo, Hawaii. And we have uh, talked to many customers over the years who have wondered about winding, how you wind a string correctly. And there's basically you're winding it on the tuner or the machine head. That's what these things are. And there are two different kinds. There's the, the machine head with the hole in it like this one. And there's the one that Fender, I guess it's a Fender one, I'm not exactly sure, but there's the one with the slot and the hole in the middle. We're not going to talk about this one today. There's also locking machine heads and a bunch of different kinds, but the two major ones are these two, the one with the, the hole in the top and the slot and the one with the hole in the middle. We're just going to talk about the one with the hole in the middle. So I'm going to get a different guitar. I just wanted to show the difference between the two machine heads. Okay, so this guitar, what you're going to need to change your string is a, a wire cutter and obviously a new string or set of strings, whatever it is. We're just going to change the high E string today on a guitar. This procedure works on bass, mandolin, classical guitars, any instrument you'd want to uh, um, change a string on. The... Uh, Winding technique is rather, I mean, is rather simple, and I'll show you why it doesn't work on other, uh, why it's not good to wind too many winds on the string. So you just put the string either into the guitar, however it works on the on the bridge side, and in this one it's just a standard tailpiece sort of acoustic bridge. And you bring it up and you pin it sort of in the slot. You slip it through the hole in the machine head. And on this kind of guitar, there are... Oh, on this kind of guitar, there are two directions of winding. One is counterclockwise, one is clockwise because of the way that the machine heads work. And I'll show you the difference in winding the string. But anyway... When you get the string through the hole, you taut it, you, you tauten the string, and I put my finger sort of on the nut to hold it in place. Then you bring the string back on this kind of guitar to the inside of the headstock. And if it was this one, you'd be bringing it back into this side. Since it's the high strings, you're going to be bring, bringing it back on this side. And you slip it under the string and bring it around taut and pull it back and this little kink here is what's going to cause it to tighten and as you turn the machine head you'll see that that creates like a fulcrum point where the string tightens upon itself and it's already locked. Many people they wind the string many many times around the machine head trying to get tension and that's bad in, in a, a number of ways uh, one of is because the coil of wire tends to slip and you don't really get good tuning. But the other reason is because when you undo, when you take off the string, it's so much easier if there's just like one turn than if there's like eight or nine turns. The other thing that I like to do is I push the string down with my cutter sort of to the machine head itself. And this is just personal. And, and I cut off the string going down. The reason for that is is because a lot of times uh, musicians give blood when they are tuning because the, the, the string is hanging off. Rather than get your finger caught on something, I always push it down to the bottom. That's pretty much it. Then you just tune the string, you know, to whatever, whatever the tuning is. And you're done. That's it.